Oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Lil Potato, and in this episode, I'll just jump right in with the work tasks that I was supposed to do last episode, but uh, I mean, we had a lot of things happening, okay? I just could not focus on those, but we need the money, so we'll just travel to a bar with Farrell. We have just loaded onto Old Quarter Inn and this is the lot that I have replaced it with and I think it looks very cozy and it fits the weather so well. It's like one of those cozy bar cabinish type of places. One of those bars that traveling merchants come to when the weather is harsh out and they want to warm up and spend a good time. It kind of gives off those kind of vibes, in my mind at least. <laughs> okay. We have three people that we need to get to know and to get to know them we have to introduce ourselves so we will quickly introduce ourselves to three different people and I'll just put it into a montage or something like that. <laughs> We have officially got to know three people, so I'm just gonna cheat this as done. Now all we have to do to finish our tasks is to get playful. Whoa, Farrell's voice just got like several octaves lower in the span of two seconds. Currently I'm trying to be funny until you get playful approach, but I don't think it's working because I have been doing it for a while now and I'm not getting any results. And as Einstein once said it, you do not do the same experiment multiple times and expect different results. So we're gonna change up our strategy. Um, wait, was that Hiroshi? Wait, um, so yeah, about that strategy change. Change. I'm afraid I was too distracted by Hiroshi's appearance, so I might have forgotten that. Um, <clears throat> but we'll just continue the video, I'm sure you wouldn't mind. Throughout the conversation, Cora got the impression that Farrell finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. What type of ideas are we talking about? Huh? Hum, Cora? Why is Brendan here? It's not like I own the town, but still, it doesn't change the fact that I don't want to see him. On a roll from socialization? Yeah, keep the jokes coming. Let's just sit together here for a second, and we will use the bathroom. We'll be like, oh yeah, let's sit together. Psych! I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Gotcha, <laughs> bitch! Dude, he's freezing. I don't want him to freeze. My sims are dumb. They're so, so dumb. We're on our way, okay? Wait. No, no, wait. I promise we're coming. Let's sit together. Psych. Goodbye, Farrell. I mean, you might think that we left without even saying goodbye, but we were planning on saying goodbye. Unlike you. Can we catch up to him? Okay, we can. Yes. We're saying bye to Farrell before we leave. Oh, oh wait. I thought they were kissing, but they were not. This is so much better than kissing. They look adorable. Stop being so cute. Stop being so cute. Goodbye. Oh, Jassy is here. Oh, you cannot go in now, can you? We'll invite you in, don't worry. She's sleeping. Oh, we still have to get playful. God damn it. Okay, get leftovers. This is free therapy. I could literally watch her sleep all day and I would not be bored. Look at her peacefully sleeping. Okay, I know I'm talking about pixels moving, but like, have you seen her? Right now I'm making Cora take a bubble bath and I remember there being like a rubber ducky or something. Maybe that could help her get playful. Let's see. I guess you cannot do anything with it. I mean, maybe I'll just put it down and that will work. Bro, I literally manifested that. I mean, the power of rubber ducky. <laughs> write this down, guys. Write this down. <laughs> the way I gasped. What is that? What is that? That's literally the same amount of money that we have. We're gonna be so broke. Okay, okay. New plan? We get famous real fast. Let's take a selfie. Gorgeous. Also, <laughs> posing strike a feminine pose. Was that supposed to be the feminine pose? We're going broke, guys. We're going broke. 
Oh no, that was not a pose, honey. Do it again. There you go, now that is a feminine pose. Share image. How many followers is- What a boring image? That is so mean. Okay, so let's go to a cafe or something to do all of these mischief interactions with. We arrived at the coffee house, but oh my god, this place looks adorable in the winter. Let's grab a cup of coffee before everyone starts crowding up the place. Get in line, because I know for a fact it will get glitchy when a lot of people will try to order stuff. Cafe latte. I swear to god, if somebody comes in and tries to order, um, I've never seen that. Woohoo! Okay, let's be mischievous. Let's lie about our carrier. Oh, I guess that didn't go too well. Hiroshi is here! her in front of Feral. <laughs> you guys were in love. This is editing me and it's so clear like the despair in my voice and it's sending me right now. <laughs> I was so hurt by that. <laughs> she literally has a husband and the person she loves is directly staring at her soul being like, so what you gonna say about that, huh? Oh, Cora, no. Cora. You don't even find her that attractive. I do not get it. Perceived as attractive. So what? See? She has a spouse. You're not a homewrecker. Cora, I'm about to be so mad. Are we gonna be that messy? Are we seriously gonna be that messy? I'm so tempted to like cancel this, but... <sighs> no! Don't be happy about... Moira! Farrell, <laughs> do something about this. <laughs> He was in the conversation. Oh. I didn't do anything. They literally cancelled on their own. Oh my god. My answers have been... Wait, 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 it's the other way around. My prayers have been answered. <laughs> See, I am that disorientated that I've lost the ability to speak. I mean, you should take this as evidence. And this is how it should be. Two single people being in love. Right? Right, Moira? Oh no, now they're looking at this. I seriously cannot believe Moira did that to us. She was the last person I was expecting to do that. So Cora has got this buff, good people, from interacting. Cora finds it interesting sometimes to interact with sims of high morality and will. Who? You better be talking about Feral, because if you're talking about Moira, Girl. And she also has the awkward comment from socialization. Why or oh, why did Cora say that? Yes, Cora. Why would you ever consider saying yes to Moira in front of Farrell? This man literally just smiled and stared at you guys. <sighs> anyway, okay. We have to be mischievous, right? Okay, we are down one. We do not like Zayden Rice because he was mean to us last time, so... We're not gonna try to cheer him up. We'll just be like, let me make your day even worse. <laughs> Can we show snow? I want to do it. <laughs> Look at her walking, all confident. <laughs> be mad. See if I care. <laughs> His name is just like Jacques, right? Because it's French and. French do not read a lot of the letters that are written, so I'm guessing you just read it as Jack. You know what? Let's be mischievous to this guy. Do a funny introduction. Let's do a prank. I don't know why, but my sims suck at mischief. Even if they like level up and get like very high skills, they never succeed. Oh, surrounded by friends. She's adorable. Look, nobody falls for it. I'm so done. <laughs> Let's do a funny introduction with Marcus Flex. Anti-crush? Is this like at first sight a thing? Because Marcus really doesn't like Cora's overall vibe. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, already doesn't like you, so let's just get this over with. Why does nobody like us? I mean, it may be because we went around trying to prank everybody, but I'm sure that's not the case, right? 
Oh no, what is that outfit? No. Oh, look who's here. Arjuna is here. And also, there are some paparazzi that are trying to take pictures of her because she's actually Instagram famous. And we have to find the fifth person that we're gonna be mischievous to. Let's be mischievous to this girl because I think her outfit looks amazing. So. Oh, she doesn't like us. Well, I guess that makes it easier for us to be mischievous with you, right? We are inviting her to a party that doesn't exist. I think that's like the worst thing you could possibly do to a person that you've met. But I mean, she doesn't like us, so it's not gonna change a lot. <laughs> But at least we've done that. Let's go to the bathroom real quick. Okay, so there is some news that I want to share with you guys. But to do so, I first need to create an environment where Cora can learn it as well. But I'm not delusional. I know that she's not actually going to be talking about this. But you know, maybe I am, okay? I want to believe that she will. <laughs> anyway, let's chat with her mom. So the news is that... Um, Okay, so I think it would be better if I just show it to you guys, rather than telling. Cora now has one brother and one sister. So what happened was, when I made them in Kratosim, they were already married. But what I wanted to do was place them on a lot on Senmai Shino and let them argue to break up and, you know, have that storyline be a little bit plausible since they would actually be seen as broken up. That's what I was going for. But after they broke up, they autonomously reviewed with each other and I did not stop them, which I know I'm probably to blame for, but the outcome was good, guys. And to be honest, I had no clue that she was pregnant up until this point in this video. I was just like checking the family tree for no reason at all. I don't know why I was doing it, but I'm glad I did it because I have like, mm, I think, NPC aging off or something like that. And that's why the babies probably have been babies for a long while right now. And in the future, I will age them up and, you know, don't let them stay babies forever because that's a nightmare for Aina. And we like Aina. And also, Erin does not know a thing about this and Cora has just learned this news right now. So Aina has been keeping it hush hush. But at this point, I'm planning to send Cora to Mount Komorebi this weekend so that she could meet her you know little siblings and also be there with her mom in uh, new year's eve so i think that would be a very cute occasion and i have been dying to find an excuse to go to mount Komorebi because i was like in the back of my mind i'm like planning hmm should cora go to mount Komorebi with like her friends as like a vacation or something or should she just like want to visit her mom i don't know i was seriously looking for an excuse and this came at the perfect time even though it was not planned i think this will be great since cora will have more people she could depend on in the future and there is just like the bigger the family the better the let's play no oh look who we have here let's say hi to him wouldn't it be just like amazing if we just gave him like a bro hug Yep, I was right. It was amazing. Oh my god, did Colin just give us a rose after we bro-hugged him? Oh no. <laughs> Maybe he does have a crush on Cora. Let's unpack this one by one. We got a sentiment saying, You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile with Colin. And Colin just autonomously snatched their hands. I don't know how to feel about this. I can't even be mad at Colin because he's adorable. We leveled up in romance. At level 2, Cora can ask about exes and talk about exes in the- Huh? Guys! Can you let me finish my sentence for once in my life? Oh. You guys are bombarding me with a lot of stuff. What is happening? First... <clears throat> Since I started reading something, I'm gonna continue reading that. Cora can ask about exes and talk about exes in the early stages of a relationship and share deeply personal thoughts. She can also research woohoo techniques and talk about love life with friends. <laughs> They're actually going to woohoo and I don't even know where. Where are you guys gonna woohoo? Okay, I need to follow them. Are they going into a bush? They are. Of course they are. What's with Cora and bushes? Like seriously. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I need to capture this moment. 
I still cannot believe they did this. Ooh, pleasantly satisfied. And what? Well matched desires from Woohoo preferences. Compatible Woohoo preferences make this Woohoo session even better. Let's ask about his uh, MBTI profile. Oh, he is an INTJ. Okay, we'll research his profile when we get home. Sinister personality archetype. Colin Tyson shows the signs of sinister personality archetype. Sinister sims are always up to no good, trying to achieve their goals no matter the consequences. Hmm, sounds awfully a lot closer to cunning. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe they are compatible. <laughs> Not her roaring every two seconds, girl, stop. Oh, I wanted to take a picture with him. Take a photo with Colleen Tyson. She's one of those people that will get away with anything. Seriously, like, look at her. They look so cute. Isn't this adorable? Why is this slowly turning into, like, a harem? At this point, I should just, like, rename the series and call it Chorus Harem. Again, very cute. Very, very cute. Let's just friendly, affection, hug, and then we'll say goodbye. Or he will just leave very angrily. Oh! Is this a stray dog? There is a stray dog. This is the first time I've seen a stray dog in this safe aisle. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, bye. And now I will talk with the dog, because hello? Dogs before humans, or actually animals before humans, always. <gasps> He's so king, no, 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 He's so cute, okay, no, no. <sighs> oh, the cuteness. <laughs> Not him walking off angrily. <laughs> Let's do a friendly introduction. <gasps> Look at his tail wagging. What's over friendship? They're so cute. <sighs> okay, I'm officially in love with this dog. No, you're not leaving. Can we adopt him? Let's adopt him. I cannot leave you here. Yes, yes, I will take responsibility. Okay. I will leave his name as Spooky at the moment, but if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to comment. And in the next video, if there is any comments that you guys really like and bring to the top of the comment sections, I will definitely give him that name. <laughs> I'm dying. This is so cute. And I will end this episode here. But I have a cause for celebration before I end this off, and that is reaching 100 subscribers. I never thought that this day would come. Thank you guys. It means a whole lot to me to see you guys enjoying the content that I'm putting out. So I wanted to quickly express my gratitude. Other than that, I wanted to ask you guys, do you prefer a 15 minute video or a 20 minute video? Please do tell me and I will do so accordingly. But other than that, I hope you guys take care of yourselves and I hope to see you in the next episode as well. And bye! I wanna put you on the crystal